Now we shall discuss about the crops which are non grains but food crops. So when you talk about the food crops, generally food means in North India we get chapati and all. In South India we get the remembrance of rice. Other than the food crops also, we have the non-grains which means like vegetables, fruits, at the same time sugar cane. We have various other tea, coffee, all these things which we consume are called as food crops and non-grain crops. So the food non-grain crops are also produced in India. In India, the first food non-grain crop is sugar. The first food non-grain crop is sugar. For the production of the sugar, you need a hot and humid climatic condition. You need hot and humid climatic condition. And you also need the temperatures ranging from 21 to 27 degrees of Celsius, which means average hot temperatures in India. And then we also need to have some good amount of rainfall from 75 to 100 centimeters per annum. If these three conditions are not fulfilled, definitely we cannot produce any sugarcane crop. When it comes to the production of the sugarcane crop, we require more number of the manual labor to work under that. Because when we are working in a sugarcane field, you need large number of people to do the sowing and also when you are harvesting you need large number of people because the sugarcane crop grows very tall for sowing you need people for cutting also you need special people who are trained to do that one even though we have shortage of labor available who are skilled but still India is producing large amount of sugarcane and India is the second producer in the world then who is the first producer the first producer is Brazil Brazil is located in South American continent on the northern side of South America where it is a largest countries it is in the category of largest countries in the world while India is the seventh largest country in the world stands in the second place in the production of the sugarcane where it has been a significant development technologically and also in regards to the advancement of the country they are being a significant contributors also because we are also exporting large amount of sugarcane to the other countries by manufacturing sugar from that one so there is good contribution in the economy of the India also moving on to the next major non food crop which is produced is oil seeds in india we have different kinds of oils that have been used as a medium of cooking in india cooking doesn't happen without oil in india we have the seeds of oil like groundnut next we have sunflower palm we also have seismum, castor. So all these different types of seeds are being produced in India on a very larger scale because groundnut production is very very high in India. In regards to the people preferring to have oil especially, groundnut is the most preferred oil for cooking in India. The main cooking done is done only with the oils in India. That is the reason why in India you find many people who are filled with cholesterol and all because of this oil availability where the fatty contents are more in the oils also. But whatever it is, India has been a significant producer of oil seeds very largely dominating the entire world in the production of the oil seeds also. And the major production of the seeds is done on groundnut seeds and next it is on the sunflower. But even in palm, seismum, castor, in all the seeds India has been producing on a very very larger scale. After the oil seeds, we have the next major production happening in the coffee. 
coffee production coffee production has been a typical production in the entire world the there is a special significance for the coffee seeds which are produced in yemen arab states even egyptian coffee also as having a special taste special seeds are having them but now recently they are brought into india for the production of the coffee and in the states like karnataka and in the states like assam where special climatic conditions are there where they receive average rainfall of more than 150 to 200 cm per annum is the most required condition and they should have moderate temperature which is giving moisture for them so that the coffee seeds will get into flourish and this is mostly done in baba bul buha hills nilagiris in some parts of darjeeling and the other parts where coffee production is also been a major production activity and india produces a significant amount of coffee which is not less in taste when compared to the yemen's production of coffee arab production of coffee or the egyptian production of coffee even the brazilian coffee seeds are also tasty nowadays there is a taste for indian seeds also which are being giving a significant contribution in the production of the coffee seeds also so in india we have sugarcane production on a larger scale next we have oil seeds production in a large scale third we have the coffee production in a very very large scale and moving on to the next after coffee the common man who always prefers to have tea tea is a common drink which in india has been served to many millions of people or many crores of people would be a better advantage because 120 crore people maybe only a few people would be preferring to have the coffee the highly privileged people are habituated to have coffee well as the lower and the middle classes people are habituated to have tea frequently in india even the present prime minister of india was once upon a time a tea vendor which is a significant uh, association with the tea sellers to the prime minister which is which has turned the entire wave of the elections also now let's not move on to the political discussion now coming on to the production of tea in india tea production requires huge amount of manual labor which is very costly but at the same time this production doesn't require much amount of water the temperatures need not be very high a moderate temperature a moderate rainfall a showers of rains are enough to produce good tea estates and their production would be very high in the production period we have large tea estates also in india in assam we also have tea estates in andhra region we also have in tamil nadu we also have in karnataka some parts like Uh, nilagiri estates and all these things where we have a significant tea estates contributing for the indian economy also on a very larger scale the only negative point what we have for the tea production is we need large amount of the human labor and their contributions to do for the production of uh, tea to come into existence the tea leaf has been produced in large amount in india also and last but not the least moving on to the other items like horticulture horticulture is a production of uh, vegetables and fruits india has been the only country which has been producing variety of fruits available in the indian land for example we have certain fruits which are produced only in uh, tropical regions while some produced in the temperate countries but in india we have the fruits especially like grapes apples apricots peas variety oranges berries so this is a combination of the tropical and the temperate climatic condition fruits which is a very rare in some other parts of the world 
India has been producing fine and the finest qualities of apples. When it comes to Jammu and Kashmir apples, these are the finest apples which are produced in the world, which has a worldwide market. So, even in the production of fruits, India doesn't fall anything behind. And also, in the production of vegetables also, India is able to produce large amount of onions, cauliflowers, then tomatoes, potatoes, even these onions, cauliflowers, tomatoes and potatoes are also being exported to many corners of Southeast Asian countries which are very close to us to send our vegetables there and onions are being the most important common vegetable used by everyone even in North India or South India of the Indians. If a union, sorry, onion price goes up high, the union government step in to regulate the onion prices. That is what the impact of onion would be in the Indians life. Without onions, uh, it is not an exaggeration, but without using onions, we do not have any curry which is being cooked in the Indian curries. So onion plays a very vital role. And the next one is tomatoes are also very, very, very important in the Indian cooking system. And potatoes has been a common food with a combination of chapatis or with a combination of the rice. We have potatoes. So it has been a very good understanding of culture. So the hearty culture production has also been giving a significant contribution for the Indian agriculture. Now we shall have a quick recap of what are the major crops that are coming under the non-grain food crops. The non-grain food crops are the first one is the sugar cane. India stands second in the production of sugar cane only after Brazil. For the production of sugar cane you need hot and humid climatic condition. You need the temperatures of 21 to 27 degrees is the average temperature. You need a rainfall falling from 75 degrees, sorry, 75 centimeters to 100 centimeters. Where if these conditions are satisfied, we also have one more need, what is that is large amount of manual labor who need to work in sowing the seeds of the sugar cane fields, crops, and also to do harvesting at the time of harvesting season. This has been a major problem in India, but still India is being standing in the number two position only after Brazil, which is located in southern part of America or South American continent. Moving on to the second major crop in India is the oil seeds. The oil seeds are produced plenty in number in India. Variety of oil seeds are produced in India. Some of them are groundnut, groundnut seeds, sunflower oil, palm oil, sesam oil, castor seeds. All these seeds are been crushed to take oil and in India there is no item which has been cooked without using oil. Oil is the only medium where Indian cooking happens. The medium of understanding Indian cooking is the oil what we use. In India most of the people prefer to use either groundnut oil or the sunflower oil in the higher and the middle class societies. When it comes to the normal and the below middle class societies, they prefer to use the palm oil seeds oil. Next, the next major one is a common drink of all the people, coffee. Coffee is also produced in extensively in India where earlier we have a brand for the Arab coffees, Yemen coffee or the Egyptian produced seeds of coffee. But now the same seeds are produced in India also with the climatic conditions suitable for heavy rainfall of 150 to 200 centimeters per annum and moderate moisture climate at the Nilgiris and the uh, Darjeeling estates or the Dehradun places where you have a moderate and heavy showers of rain happening which is contributing for the production of coffee. India is also producing huge amount of fine quality of coffee seeds. And moving on to the common man's drink, tea. Tea is produced extensively in India because it doesn't require heavy amount of water. It depends mainly on the rain showers then and there or it doesn't require much amount of water. Temperatures also need not be too high or too low, moderate temperature. But the only thing what they required is heavy labor and this has been a costly affair in the production of tea. But in India we have large tea estates in the northeastern states as well as in the southern states of India. 
and moving on to the horticulture horticulture is a combination of production of vegetables and fruits india is the only country where we can produce tropical fruits and the temperate fruits some of the fruits which are produced in india are grapes apples apricots peas oranges and the berries india has also got its own brand of market of apples the jammu and kashmir apples are very very famous all over the world and we also have kanpur oranges attracting the market from the entire world so which shows that we have a combination or a typical combination of uh, tropical and the temperate fruits which are grown in india and coming to vegetables we have a huge production places of onions cauliflower tomatoes and potatoes where onions has been a common vegetable which is used must and mandatory in all the indian curries and next place goes to the tomatoes and later to the potatoes so indians are in a good position to produce all the vegetables fruits tea coffee oil seeds and also standing second in the production of sugar cane so like this india is also not only producing rice wheat barley maize's coarse grains millets pulses the other categories of the non grain food is sugar cane they are producing oil seeds coffee tea vegetables horticulture this has been a major production aspects in india so indian production is not too small they are doing a larger contribution and indian farmers are working very very hard to fulfill the needs of their own achievement as well as they are contributing for the development of the nation and as well as the meet the requirements of the people of the country if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus